This is the heart of London's West End, where 57 experts are putting wines through a rigorous judging process. Fifty years ago, the IWSC was the first organisation to launch an event like this. Since then, it's earned a reputation for being meticulous, with expert judges and an unbiased process. Here's how a typical judge's day unfolds. It's been organised for us to be put in a sort of logical order, so generally we'd start with something quite light and refreshing and maybe going towards the fuller styles at the end. But we don't see any bottles, we don't know the producers, we don't see any labels. So, what are the most important qualities that judges are looking for? Balance. I think, I think those elements take the acidity, the fruit structure, aromatic structure, alcohol, tannins, everything has to be one. They should be an orchestra, but they should be playing together. Discussion plays a crucial part in the judging process. So we'll taste the wine individually without knowing what the other's thinking. You look at the component parts and it's very easy sometimes to miss something. And that's when you have a discussion as a panel. There's something quite raw about it. There is this aromatics, doesn't quite fit no. in. It, God, it's it? almost smells like elderflowers. Mm. And that's where the fun happens, where you can be talked up or talked down. It's a bit out of place for me. I was quite generous, I wasn't good. We all must believe in a wine for it to be elevated to a medal status. After a bit of time, the black pepper came through quite nicely. It was a little bit dry. The tannins are still slightly chewy, which is maybe you're sort of drying. But I think, you know, lovely damson fruit on there. Matthew has edged up to 92 oh. <laughs> with solid silver and it's a pian to a Graziano. It's a logistical feat as the team has to check and deliver every wine so that it's tasted in the right place by the right expert. Thankfully, the organisation here at the IWSC is really good. So we're usually tasting, on average, about 65 wines a day and they're also arranged into flights of similar styles. And it's done so that you're not jumping from one style to the next. So that does mean that you can get to the end of the day and still be able to make as good a call on a wine as you were at the beginning of the day. With delicious wines from all over the world, it looks like a lot of fun, but this is a serious job with serious responsibilities. Judges are selected not only for their specialist knowledge, but also for their ability to taste blind. Getting the right experts is fundamental to the integrity of the judging. I'm liking some of the depth. I, I tried the 212. It's the role of the head judge to ensure there's consistency across the panels. We're looking to analyse the scores that each of the judges give Tanya the wines and make sure that we're all on the same wavelength. So any discrepancies, we're looking to retaste those wines as a team and then come down on a decision whether that's silver or gold in that scenario. And it's not actually about the wines being in competition with each other. We're not really looking for a winner as such. The wines aren't competing against each other. We're looking at each of the wines individually and trying to give it its best shout. You're not comparing wine one with wine two. You're looking to evaluate wine one on its own merit. And each expert brings something different to the table. We've a room today packed full of master sommeliers, masters of wine, people who are at the top of their game. Many of these people are chosen for their blind tasting ability specifically, but also because they're leaders in their field. And it's also really important the judges leave their personal tastes at the door. <laughs> I think I will okay, I liken this to if you can think of being an art critic or a music critic, you might not want, you won't want every piece of art hanging on your wall, you won't want every piece of music in your CD player, but you can appreciate things for what they are. You can take the component parts of something and say, yes, that's appealing uh, to a certain market. So being able to step back from your personal preferences is very, very important. So what are the judges' favourite words in their tasting notes? Vibrant, core of fruit. Generosity and complexity. Vibrant, refreshing. For me, it's the balance. Either lack of it or presence of it. Look for the IWSC name. You'll know that the wine has been hand-picked by expert judges and it's been through a meticulous, unbiased process you can trust. It's time to go and buy something delicious with confidence. Thank you.